Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. I am Bright, the Chem Tutor. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on electrolysis, whereby I'll be focusing on the first law of electrolysis. Okay, in the course of today's lesson, we'll be solving different practice problems on the first law of electrolysis. Now, let's proceed. First thing first, the Faraday's first law of electrolysis states that the mass of a substance deposited during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity that passes through the electrolyte. What do I mean? For example, the Faraday's first law of electrolysis is given with a mathematical expression which is mass directly proportional to quantity of electricity which is given with the symbol Q. Now, bringing a constant mass becomes KQ whereby Q which is quantity of electricity and it is it q quantity of electricity is equal to it now what is i i simply is current current in ampere i is current in ampere and t it is time in seconds T is time in seconds, and Q simply means quantity of electricity, okay? Quantity of electricity. Now, it must be noted on the first law of Faraday's electrolysis, mass is directly proportional to quantity of electricity. Bringing a constant, it becomes M equals KQ, and Q is IT. So when we proceed, we get the mass, which is M, is equal to k i t now the symbol k can be changed to z or e when we do this it becomes mass will not be equal to z i t now the question you ask yourself what is z z is called electrochemical equivalent okay z is called electrochemical equivalent now basically bringing this or making z subject of formula the formula become m over i t m over i t so basically in solving problems on the first law of Faraday's electrolysis this formula which is Electrochemical equivalent is equal to mass over current times time. Now, this is one formula that must be noted in solving problems on Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Now, let's quickly move over to this first question on the Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Now, the question says, given the electrochemical equivalent, of a metal as 3.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 4, calculate the current that will deposit 4 grams of zinc in 2 hours. Now, it must be noted when solving problems like this, the formula must be applied. And what is the formula? We call, we say, mass which is M is equal to Z I T. Now, they are asking us to get current. Recall, current is given with the symbol I, and current is measured in amperes. So we we'll make current subject of formula here, so we now have mass over Z T. What is the mass given in the question? It is 4 grams all over Z, which is the electrochemical equivalent, which is 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4, times the time. Now, the time is 2 hours. 
the time is two hours because I said the time should always be in seconds, dependent on how the question comes. But normally the time should be in seconds. So converting two hours to seconds, what do we get? So two hours to seconds basically become two hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So one plus a calculator will get 7,200 seconds. So basically we impute it here as 7,200 seconds. So what will be the current in ampere? Become 1.54 ampere. 1.54 ampere. So basically this is the first part on the Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Now let's quickly proceed to the next part. Now. In the second part, there will be a derivation. Recall, I said mass is equal to ZIT. This is the Faraday's first law of electrolysis, mathematically. Now, there's also another formula that says mass is equal to molar mass, okay? Molar mass times I times C over QF. This formula is very, very important. Now, what does I imply? It implies current, as we earlier said, and current in amperes. What does T imply? It implies time in seconds. And what does Q imply? Basically, it implies charge of element. It implies charge of element. And what does F imply? It implies the Faraday's constant. The Faraday's constant. And Faraday's constant is measured in coulombs, which is 96500 coulombs. Now, I said Q is charge of element. Now, let's talk about something. Now, let's say in the practice problem, the element we are asked or the element given in the question is zinc. Now, what will be the charge of zinc? That will be Q. And we already know that zinc ionically is Zn2+. plus. So, basically, this will be the charge. Q equals 2. Now, let's say it is copper. And copper ionically is Cu2 plus. What will be the charge, which is Q2? Let's talk about other elements, like the likes of um, gold. Gold is Au plus, or you say Au3 plus. So basically, the Q can be 1 or Q can be 3. So the point here is this, it is dependent on how the question comes, you apply the values for the charge of the element. Sometimes they can say gold 3, so you use your gold to be 3 plus. Now let's use other elements like the likes of um, mercury, mercury Hg, it is Hg2 plus, Q equals 2. Okay, we have various elements. We have mercury, gold. All of these elements are the most popular elements used in practice problems. Now, like for example, we have aluminum. So this is Al3 plus. So basically the Q becomes three. Okay, this is for aluminum. So the Q basically implies charge of element. Now, there will be a derivation. Now, we already know that mass is equal to ZIT. And same mass is equal to molar mass times I times T over QF. Since mass is equal to ZIT and molar mass is equal, sorry, and mass is equal to this, it means that these two formulas can be equated. It means that these two formulas can be equated. And what do I mean? This is what I mean. So basically, becomes ZIT over molar mass times IT 
over QF. Now, let's make molar mass subject of formula. Making molar mass subject of formula, we have ZITQF over IT. IT cancels IT. So basically, molar mass becomes ZQF. This formula is a very, very important formula in solving problems on the first law of Faraday's electrolysis. Now, let's quickly move over to the question. The question says, given the electrochemical equivalent of a metal M, a metal M2 plus, as this, 3.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 4, Determine the molar mass of the metal. Now, now, what do we do? First, we recall the formula as earlier derived. Now, we say to get the molar mass of a metal dealing with electrochemical equivalent, we simply say the molar mass M or MO is equal to Z Q F. Now, what is Q in the question? It is the charge of the element. Now, in this context, the Q is 2 plus. So this is the Q value. And basically, the Z is 3.6 times 10 from negative 4. And the F is for this constant, which is 96, 500. So basically, imputing this into the formula, molar mass becomes the Z is 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 times Q, and the Q is 2 times F, which is 96,500 coulombs. So basically, when we hit our calculator, we get the answer to be 69.5. Okay, 69.5 grams per mole. So basically, this is how to solve problems on the first law of Faraday's electrolysis. Because we gave a formula that says, um, we gave a formula that says M is equal to ZIT, which is the first representation I will solve problem. And now we are given a formula which is molar mass is equal to ZQF. Now, all of these formulas should be taken note of in solving problems on this aspect. Okay, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos.